Rules. It won't. Check it out. Yes, prediction. Ooh. Are you ready? I want the board ready. <laughs> Obviously, you're a little, you know, uh, aggravated by the, the line of questioning regarding Canelo. I don't want to touch this, you know, dude is so bad. You know, I don't want to touch his name. I'm working on feeling the art of humbleness. Can you be with me? That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person. And I miss him. But sometimes I feel like a bitch. I don't want that person to come out with me. He comes out. Hell, it's coming with him. And it's not funny at all. It must sound cool. Like, I'm a tough guy. It's just that I hate that I'm scared. It would be awesome to, you know, be being a great war. Maybe, maybe we would have Mexican. Oh! Slap in the face. It's hunting you forever, buddy. <laughs> I have to put the joke. No, no. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Thank Perfect play, man. I appreciate it. Good you. timing. Can't put predictions, man, but I definitely don't want to leave it to the judges. Ay, 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 damas y caballeros. We are live and vivo. Somos Lonely Boxing and Vivo Podcast. Como siempre, Manny Marrero. Show the gringo Hicksa. Hopper. Ay, ay, ay. Always, always breaking it down like it is, like it should be, like you fans deserve thank you so much yeah. for all the support you guys have given us throughout this couple of months um a lot of stuff a lot of boxing going on remember um all you got to do is smash that like button bro want to share want to like want to subscribe uh that helps our content to continue to bring you some good stuff and let me tell you something it's gonna be a great summer um Man. we have a lot of stuff going on before we go into some of the good stuff i just want to remind everyone that our sponsors listen if you're a pet lover i am Right, but who's gonna take care of that shit? Right, that's not gonna do itself. So listen, go ahead and call I Scoop Poop. That's right, I, I said it right. Scoop I poop. Scoop I Poop, ladies scoop. and gentlemen. That is uh, <laughs> Steven poop. Trevino. Listen, shout if, out to you, Steven. Yeah, yeah they got the some house. weekly rates. They got some monthly rates. And if you're a guy like you want to do it yourself, but you're cut up in a couple weeks, man, it gets pretty nasty. Plus, they have this new system right now that can deodorize your yard and it smells nice. Plus, they got pest control, too. I mean, they got the whole package. The you want your package. car washed? They can do it, too. That is, mm. I scoop poop. poop. Yeah, they, they scoop uh, Gringo's poop. He doesn't even have a dog or nothing. Man, <laughs> that's when you know they're go above and beyond. That's oh, right. my God. Sorry about that. It's not I poop scoop. It's I scoop poop. Oh, my God. That was horrible. I just didn't want to do anything about it, man. I was that's just pretty Hey, man, we let you do it. Two shows, too. So. Uh, can you believe that? Two. Oh, I believe and it. And I, I was did here. it back to back, and then he was, you were recording. I was I saw, laughing. I saw the... <laughs> <laughs> I saw the video later on, and I'm like, shit, I'm glad I didn't really record it myself. But anyway, we got it right, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what we get wrong? We get right a lot, a lot of times. What's that? It's the guest that we have. The guest. Oh. Yeah, but I Can want. Can you tell? Yeah, all, I do. I work we're so excited. Cheesy, and and I all. actually, I want Gringo. Gringo, why don't you do me honor and then just introduce the special guest we have today? Oh, wow. Well, it's an honor. We've only guess. waited my 575 fighter. days, but who's counting to talk to <laughs> the man, myth, the legend, the young phenom from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Zender Zayas. Wepa! Wepa! What's up? Man. What's up, brother? Wow. Hey, feeling amazing. Nice. Feeling amazing. Coming out of none, you know, winning my ninth fight. Yeah. Bless. And just having fun. <laughs> oh, man. That's amazing. Uh, and he looks it, older now, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. He, looks he looks more mature, <laughs> wiser. See, look at the wins. Are they actually making him taller? You know? I think so, man. <laughs> He's maturing with the wind. I mas, mas guapo. I, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, he wasn't guapo before? Oh, is that mas right? Mas guapo. Oh, oh yeah. Mas guapo. He's got yeah. way more mas. Uh, I, uh, more the mas. only thing we know about, he's 147 pounds, right? Because he just had a fight this last week. And, I mean, probably a little higher than that, but dedicated. Man, uh, you were yeah. saying, what was the last time we talked about him when he was fighting what? Virgil he Winfield? Was, uh, yeah, I, I remember uh, like it was like yesterday, yesterday, even though yeah. it wasn't. But uh, Virgil Winfield, you announced it. We were going crazy. You were going to fight at the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas, and, and you had destroyed. You him. destroyed him in one round. Um, which, by the way, I was there. <laughs> oh, you were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, that's right. That's Oscar right. Oscar Valdez. Against, so uh, that was that was definitely Dennis, a, right. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, yeah. They they it was it was, uh, was it Harrington was it uh, or Gutierrez? And he came in like yeah, he was overweight. He, yeah, he came in overweight, oh, and oh, then that's they right, had that's to. Right. Oh, so it's wow. another fighter. 
That was that card. Which, that was... Um, he's fighting Adam. Adam, 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 Adam Lopez. Oscar, Oscar Adam, Valdez. Yeah, Adam, Adam Lopez. Lopez. Teixeira, Patrick Teixeira, yeah, and Carlos Adames were fighting on that one. That's yep. Yeah. Oh, Carl yeah, Frampton. Yeah, um, yeah. Fr- um, Frampton was there Frampton, too. Carl yeah. Frampton. Tyler yeah. McCreary. Yep. He fought McCreary. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Man, good time. So you talked about feeling good, Xander, and, you know, having that confidence, that swagger. A big part of that is the fantastic team. We have to give them a shout out to Coach Centeno and uh, Papi Orlando for giving Woo! that support they give you there at uh, Sweatbox in Davie, yeah. Florida. I mean, can we just talk about that? Because I don't think enough, um, I know from you, but the world needs to know is just what they're doing to help mold you and craft you and Thanks. get you to where you're at. Because, I mean, they, they're they really putting in extra overtime on your development. That's, that's my dream team. You know, that's my dream team. Um, Coach Javier, my dad Orlando, my manager Peter Khan, um, my nutritionist, perfecting athletes, my strength and conditioning coach, Bu Morito, and Coach Pedro. I mean... They all do. They all do their part. They all do their their job the right way. And all I have to do is perform every time I step into the ring. Um, I've been doing that for nine fights um, in now, and we will continue to do that. You know, we we are all focused on 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 the goal at hand that is to become a, a world champion in multiple divisions. That um, you know, this year that is you know is to win prospect prospect of the year. We're focused on that, and once once we make that happen. We'll continue to stay focused and create more goals. Man, I love that answer. Wow. It is. Uh, and, that, and I know it comes from the heart. And I think that's the thing that I appreciate so much about you. Obviously, you're an amazing, phenomenal talent, you know, athlete, but you're very genuine. Like when you're speaking, it's very sincere. And I, I think that's why it is so natural for you because it's, it is who you are. And I appreciate that. And you appreciate yeah, you those know, who um, support you. Well, when I talk, when I, when I speak, I try to speak from the heart. I try to speak on like the, the, the honest, the truth, you know, because that's, what's going to get people to, to like me or, or see who I really am. You know, mm-hmm. um, I don't have to lie. I hate lying. I used to, my yeah. mom used to, you know, put, put her hands on me when I lied. So I, <laughs> it got to a point that I was like, that I said, all right, let me not lie anymore. Let me just you know speak facts. Yeah, and that's what I've been doing since. <laughs> yeah, well, no, that's definitely the way to go, and uh, I I definitely can sense that and appreciate that, and I know others can as well. Uh, I know my brothers are chomping at the bit, but I have to ask this question because, like you said, you you are genuine person. You like to be honest, so I need to know because both of them had great meaning and significance when you fought in Puerto Rico. That was obviously a huge homecoming event, but be <clears> honest <throat> with his brother. I saw how you were acting when you kissed me on that amazing uh, Puerto Rican stat card. <laughs> Which one was more exciting and why? Or is it a different experience? Um, I, I, I got to know, brother. It was <laughs> it was different experience because in Puerto Rico, yes, it was the homecoming. Um, that was that was something special. You know, the, the Puerto Rican crowd, the love they showed me was amazing. Um, but then, you know, having to stop having a crowd for so many, so long, it was almost a year to then come back and find Kissimmee, Florida, where crowd again in a whole, in an Puerto Rican crowd, in an Puerto Rican um 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 show. It was just, it was just crazy, you know. That the energy, they were they were ready to to scream our names. You know, it didn't matter who walked through through that entrance if he had the Puerto Rican flag, they were screaming. So. Yeah. That was just that was just amazing and and I had fun in both of them. I can't pick one of them. I cannot pick Puerto Rico no, no. me. <laughs> right. I, I mean, that's a good I, they have no. fun in Lola. <laughs> yeah, they have fun in, in both of them. But you know, in Kissimmee, I was a little bit more excited yeah. knowing that I was coming back with you know from fighting three three fights without without crowd. Yeah. So that was just an amazing experience. Well, wow. it's, 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 it's different because when you, when you go to in, – and that's one of the things that reminds me in boxing is, is back home. When, you, when you're fighting some of these um, yeah. uh, cancha de baloncesto, we call it basketball hoops, and you got the local talented gyms, and then you got a little bit more bigger promotions. They, you know, packed up some, some, some whatever, you know, stadium. They'll, they'll come in, Bayamón, Trujillo Alto, and all of them and stuff. But then you're, you're back in, 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 in Kissimmee, and it's like a different environment. It's like, yeah, okay, this is, this is my true love, but out here, it's, it's, it's like the fans, the, the way, you know, I was there. I witnessed a lot of yeah. greatness that night. Um, knowing that, of course, you were there. Of course, one of the biggest talked nowadays in boxing, Edgar Verlanga, of course, the opportunity to fight 
for a world title in Pitufo Dia against one of the big, big, I mean, you know, I'm super bullish on, you know, yeah. Navarrete and our buddy here Navarrete. in Mexico. I mean, having that card so stacked and seeing that you're also were going to be involved there, Josue Vargas, you know, um, I mean, it's just Moncho, uh, not Moncho, uh, Capu Gonzalez was also there with it, with an amazing performance, but also see you there shining and you know, I was telling the brothers when I came back, when we did the recap, we, we, I, I saw you different, man. I saw an animal that I've never seen from this little <laughs> young, you know, innocent kid we nah, just no interviewed. Innocence. It was like you unzipped yourself. It's like, wow, here I am. And just barely gave me some, I mean, you gave me action just a few seconds. <laughs> but I was hoping to Under see a, a minute. Little, yeah, I was hoping to see a little bit more. I was, just, yeah. I, was hoping, I was hoping to see a little more too. Um. Right. But was it was it the you excitement know, well, being around? You you you're hanging around now, elite boxers. You're coming into these, yes. the center of their circle, right? You know, now with Berlanga, now with Pitufo, even with Oscar Valdez. A couple of days after that, I mean, you you just around. You got Mufongo. The, you got Mufongo, right? <laughs> you're around. You're in the spotlight. <laughs> Is that what really gave you that energy to say unzip myself and let me just show what I really have? I want to end this in the first round. Man. Um, you know, now that I look back at it, um, I was, I was calm throughout the fight week, but after, after the wings, when he bumped my head, that got me a little, a little excited. That's it. That, that set a fire in me. You know, I already had the fire coming in. I already knew I wanted to win. I wanted to put on a show, but after he, you know, after he bumped head into me for no reason, because it was no reason for him to do that, that kind of set that kind of like light up the fire even more, you know? Um, and then walking out, hearing the crowd, everybody screaming my name, cheering for me. It was just, it was just, it was just there. It was just there for yeah. me to shine. And, you know, when, when the bell rang and I, and I saw him walking out with the chin up, hand down, I'm like, it's just a matter of time. now. I just got to get him to the right spot and knock him yeah. out. Well, I want to hear from your perspective, yeah. right? You've had nine fights now, different, you know, entrance, into the ring, uh, and of course, you're always unique in what you do and who you are, and you're always in your zone. How different was it this time? Did you feel something around? Oh, uh, yeah. A different energy the, um, around the fans? Yes, yes. See, it was... That, that, that fight in Kissimmee was, was special, you know? Like, it was the first time with fans back um, in Kissimmee, all Puerto Rican crowd, almost... You know, just hearing the beat of the song "Go Go" and 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 the fans just cheering and and the flag. You see the flag in it on top of your head, just going side to side. It was just like it gave it gave me you know it gave me chills. I'm like, hey, I'm ready to go in. I'm ready to fight. Oh, so oh, it was man. just an amazing experience. It was one of my best entrance, I think. I yeah, have yeah. fun doing that. And, and I felt it. I felt it. I felt it too. Sorry, guy, sorry, guy, I go. Sorry, guy, I go. Okay. Okay. I think it's I your, think it's your, your is mic. It, is it me? Yeah. Okay. I felt it too, uh, uh, Sander, because, um, you know, we were seated there and I had explained this to the guy. I had to explain this to Sean, like, kind of like in a, in food terminology, in food. like, you in know, work. the hors d'oeuvres, right? <laughs> when you go to a party and you have your, some, some, some fights coming in and that's like the hors d'oeuvres. And then all of a sudden here comes, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the entree coming in and before the entree, you get yeah. some, some words that, that, that was Sanders. So this is what I felt, man. I, I was sitting, <laughs> mm -hmm. I was sitting down and things were pretty good. We had a, some pretty good fights, but when, when your name popped in and you started to come out, I mean, that's when I felt the people like, I am Explode. ready to party. I am ready to see action tonight. Um, that was the first time the 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 kind of around the ring got a little bit congregated and people were just 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 wow. Like I want to be able to see. Finally, I'm here to see this kid fight. And it was from then on. It was like that energy just kept on going through the entire stadium. And it was it was a great yeah. moment, man. It was it was something different. And I felt it from you. But I was like, I wanted to ask, man, because you weren't. I mean, you're so. I was like, man, let me stay away from him. I don't want to take a picture of him. You know, he might he might like you know swing at me or I something. Punch but. you. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty you're pretty <laughs> high. If I would yeah. describe and put it into one word, I would say and describe a performance as being unleashed like i'd seen you before being you know very poised and and calm but i'll never bump your head i mean uh <laughs> so, that's what happens no thanks sir i apologize in you advance know, um, <laughs> man it was again it was just the energy you know i felt it when i was walking out everybody was just there i was seeing everybody 
you know, just happy to see me. And, and when I got in the ring, it was just, I looked around and I'm like, man, if, if this was Madison Square Garden, it's going to feel like, because it wasn't half of what Madison Square Garden can feel. Um, I was like, if this was Madison Square Garden, it's going to feel like at least hmm. one quarter of it. I like it. I like it. And um, the energy was there. I was having fun. I was focused on, on, on the task at hand. Um, we knew that we had a, a, a good guy in front of us yeah. in, in, in the Marcus Layton that was 8-1 and, oh, eight and one at the time right. um, with um, five knockouts. So we knew that he, that he, that he was good, but um, I also knew that I put the work in. I knew that, that I had no doubt in my mind. Um, I, I was there to put on a show. I was there to put on a show and, and focus on, you know, winning and, and, and again, just giving the fans what they wanted. Absolutely. Uh, another thing, Xander, that I mean, I, I have to ask, and you know, I always want to make sure that I, um, I'm cautiously, you know, identifying or labeling things because you don't want to be overzealous and say this is the greatest ever. Yeah. That's the best performance ever. Mm -hmm. But for me, when they, you know, I'm just a fan, right? I'm just, you know, the gringo, right? I'm just a fan sitting back. How did you? When did you find out it was going to be a historic card in the terms of prospects and Puerto Rican uh, fighters? Uh, were you told right away, or did something you kind of came across and it organically, you know, happened later on? Because I mean, well, I can tell just you talking about it, you were excited to be a part of it. Did you know right away, or did yeah. it happen kind of, you know, after the fact? Well, after my after my last fight, the fight before that one in February in, in the bubble, um, you know, I went up to to you know the top rank bosses and and they told me hey get ready you're back april 2024 and um then i i they said april 24th they didn't set a date they didn't say what card and then um i was doing a live with um edgar and he said oh yeah we're fighting april 24th in Kasimi." and i was like wait I, I didn't know that i knew it was april 24th but i didn't know it was in the car i didn't know oh. nobody else you know it wasn't a puerto rican show. i didn't know it was a puerto rican show and then, you know, um, Pitufo announced it, and I was like, oh, now it's three Puerto Ricans in one card. Then um, the Adorno brothers came in, um, Capu came in, everybody else came in. I'm like, this is it. Like, this is what we wanted in, <laughs> in you know, in New York, but here in Florida, here right. in Kissimmee, it was just amazing. It was just amazing. But, yes, I did know that I was going to fight in April, but I didn't know in what card I was going to fight at. So later on, I'll say... I'll say five weeks out. Oh man! Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, they did a phenomenal job as far as the promotion, um, everything, just yeah, kind of to the fantastic. build up. I mean, it was. I was. I was. I was so hype. I mean, I. Yeah. Oh, I. I, I, I couldn't. A... It was, and that was another thing too that I'll go ahead and say. And yeah, I'm a, a boxing fan, hardcore. But you know, being honest, there are some cards where you're not necessarily excited to see everyone. Maybe you're not familiar with them. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. This card... Top to bottom. Top to I was bottom. like, Come I got to go to the bathroom the, the day before. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to miss anything, <laughs> right? You, you had a time. I had two breakfasts. No, yeah, this, that, that, car, that car was a car that you say, I don't want to miss any fight. You know, I don't want to miss... I want to I want to watch from, from the first fight to the last fight. Uh -huh. and, and like you said, there's some cars that you're like, all right, yeah, I, could, I could miss two or three fights. I could go eat and stuff. Yeah. And miss a couple fights. But this fight wasn't. This car wasn't that type of car. No. Yeah, that was, that was exciting. And Xander is Hopper. Woo! Hey, hey! how are you talking to Xander? Know, man, I, I, know. I keep pinching myself. Out, man. Is, is, He's in a dream. Oh my goodness! It's just, I'm just dream. staring at Xander. Like what? The? My man Hopper. <laughs> now nah, Xander, man, I, I, Hopper. talk to me. I want to. I want to know more about this relationship you have with Oscar Valdez. How did that? How did that come about? Because we saw that uh, trend. Well, he didn't, he didn't believe and, us at first, Xander. Me and uh, Gringo sent it to us. Well, and we're uh, like, what? We're well, like, Gringo sent it because he liked the Mofongo. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was, was about you, Xander, about the Mofongo. We were talking about the like, food. <laughs> and I was like, wait, well, do you see who he's with? <laughs> That's Oscar Valdez. <laughs> well, the first time I met him was when, when I fought at the Cosmopolitan. Um, and, you know, I, I went up to him because, again, somebody that I look, I look up to, somebody that I admire as a fighter, as a person. And I went up to him in, to his locker room and I was, I was scared the first time I met him. You know, I went up and I didn't want to touch him. I'm like, <laughs> oh, if I touch him, he yeah. might turn around and punch me. Ah, like, what wow. is he going to... So, I, so I, I go and see, I see um, his coach, um, Reynoso, right? And, and I say, can I say hi? And he's like, 
Yeah, go ahead. It's in front of me. Uh, right, no. like, wow. you know, wow. he, he, he turned around. I, I, you know, we embraced and stuff. We took a picture. And then after that, he started following me, man. When he started following me on social media, that was just crazy. I was just, mm-hmm. I was just excited. And then I, I believe like a couple posts, I posted a couple of stuff on social media and then I don't know where he, he commented on, on one of them. And, you know, we started building the relationship and stuff. And then I was there when he, when he won his, his, his world title, his WBC world title last time around yep. with, with Alacran Batam, Alacran, Alacran Berchel. Yeah. yeah um, that fight was amazing. Yeah, like, that I, was, like that was me, amazing. I, I love boxing. I am, I'm, I'm a, I'm a fan of boxing. I watch every boxing match that there is. That was my first knockout live. live. Oh, like wow. me watching it right there. Like I was, I wouldn't say I was right there, right there, but I was there to see right. it. You know, because he didn't fight um, that night, right? You just. When no, it was a, it was an observer, right? And Sander, so, you were in the you were. Uh, no, no, I did, I did fight. I did fight that fight. Yeah, I did fight that night. I was in the undercard when I fought. Um, I fought. Um, James Martin from oh, Philadelphia. Martin, okay. Oh, James oh, Martin. James Martin. Yes. Yeah, yeah this was at the bubble. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, at the bubble. Oh, yeah, that, was, that was that was that was at the bubble. Okay. That was yeah, February twentieth. That was at the bubble. Um, I fought there, and then you know I was I was able to stay and watch watch him fight. And the game plan was just was just amazing. I mean, the preparation, the, the mindset that he had coming in was was great. And after after he won, I went to the locker room. There's a kind of viral video of us like dancing in the locker room and embracing <laughs> each other. And and then after my last fight, you know, I mean, Kasimi, you know, um, he calls me. He like, hey, whoa what's a good like run to, you know, run out down here in Miami because he was done down here doing a couple of media stuff. And I told him, Oh, like it depends on where you want to run. He's like, Oh, I want to run in Miami beach. I'm like, Oh, so just go to ocean drive. I mean, this is a whole, right. a whole, you know, the beach is there. It's a lot of stuff. And then he said, Oh, would you want to come with me? And I'm like, yeah, I want to go <laughs> yeah. with you. That's not even a question. Man, like, I, awesome. just, I just finished a fight, but that doesn't even matter. Like, my legs are brand new. Come <laughs> yeah. on, oh, let's go. I'm young. Um, I can handle it. I'm and at the, beginning, at, the, at the beginning, we were planning on running seven miles. So 3.5 and 3.5. Okay. And we're running, we're running up. We hit 3.5. And I'm like, hey, Oscar, it's time to, it's time to go back. You know, it's 3.5. He's like, Nah, nah, let's do four. And I'm like, all right, cool. We're running four. And then we hit the four. And he's like, all right, time to head back. Man, when I tell you this little guy could run, I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm trying to catch up to him. Like, my legs are long. And I'm trying to catch up. And I'm like, Oscar, it's not a race. He's like, yeah, it is a race. It is a race. You got to get up. to me. You got to get to me. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, he man. killed me in that, in, that, in that run back. And then um, at the begin- at the end, at the end, when we we were just like right there with each other. He saw the camera first. He saw the camera recording and he started sprinting. And I'm like, why, why is it sprinting? We're like right there. We're about to finish. And then I saw the camera and I'm like, Oh, and I started. <laughs> 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 a veteran. Like this much. That, but man, um, a veteran move. <laughs> yeah. Veteran move man. Yeah. Got yeah. You. But yeah. man, that was, that was a great experience. He's a great brother. Um, always giving me advice. He's always helping me anytime, anytime I need, I need help. Anytime I have a question. He's always there for me, and then somebody again that I look up to. Yeah, man, because Pitufo also has a pretty good relationship with them as well, right? Love that story, man. Pitufo yeah. Diaz also yes. has a pretty good yes. relationship with Oscar Valdez as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Oscar is just a gentleman. So Oscar is just, is just somebody that that you talk to him, and you're like, man, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even, if you don't know nothing about boxing, you wouldn't say, oh, this guy could could fight. You see him, and you're like, man, this guy, I hit him, and that's it. But you know, it's just a humble dude, very humble, very respectful, and then mm-hmm. just a gentleman. Those are the guys you want to be yeah, around, man. Exactly. You want in your circle, man. Yeah, so, that was yeah, amazing, yeah. Xander. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Awesome. That's, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. The same that's thing. Awesome. The same thing. The same thing with um, with Berlanga. You know, people see Berlanga and they're like, "Oh, he might, he might be, he might think that he's man." Berlanga is just one of the one of the most humble persons that I know. Yeah, I'm um, his family, very respectful, um, man. I, ha- I had a I had a great great time last time around in doing fight week, spending it with him and his family. Oh, that's, mm. that's yeah, awesome, man. That's, man. that's awesome, man. Well, well you're also getting a lot of the exposure great, that you know Javier Centeno and Sweat Box Boxing Gym down in in Davie, Florida. 
um, you know, bringing in some caliber opponents for you to spar. You've, we've seen you kind of you go through with uh, Major Broner, you know, champions. Broner. Exactly. We we've, we've seen you also. Um, you know, you Jacobs. got Jacobs. Jacob. Yep. You've seen also as well the hype that's been going around, especially this week. You know, unfortunately, Combozo. the fight got canceled, but. You know, Coach and Tenoy yeah. and, and Combosas were up for a big grab right now this weekend. What is that? What is that? How how is that energy throughout the camp? Um, you know, because I know it's a little bit disappointing. Man. All of a sudden, you got to stop camp. But but how was that energy? Combosas um, you know, ready. How, how did that help you? How you did Combosas look ready? Combosas look ready. I, I, oh, yeah. I, if you want me to be honest with you guys, um, I got to spend very very little time in that in in his camp okay. because again, we were preparing for different fights. I I wasn't sparring him for this camp. I wasn't the sparring partner that he needed. You know, I'm much taller than, than Teofimo. Right. I don't have the same style as Teofimo. So he brought in his, his sparring partner. So I didn't spend makes a sense. lot of time in the sense. camp. Mm-hmm. But but every time that I was coming in, you know, Cambosis is always a hard worker. Um, he always puts the extra mile. He always wants to get better. He always wants to to push himself. So I knew that it was, it was going well. I knew that he was going to be ready the same way that Teofimo was going to be ready. I mean, I saw Teofimo in my, in my fight week during my, my you know, during my, my last fight week in Vegas, and he looked amazing. He was, he was already cutting weight. You know, he was, they, they were both ready. They were both ready to put on a show. Unfortunately, you know, Teofimo tested positive, and um, I hope that he's, that he's better. I hope that he's feeling okay. I hope that everything goes well. And August 14th, they will they will put on a show. They will they will put on a show that they were gonna put this this next Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and we're waiting for that. That's crazy man. though how yeah. he how he came down with the uh, or you know with the COVID or whatever. Must have not had the vaccine. Have you taken the vaccine, Sander? Has Top Rank made you take the um, vaccine, or have they made that? No, optional? we my family my family and I haven't taken the vaccine. We we are really thinking about it now. Um, that you know we've seen a lot of a lot of people testing positive. Um. But we'll, we'll, you know, we'll still consider it. We still, we're still talking about it. We're still having yeah. this kind of like, do we want to do it? Do we don't do, do, do we need it? Do, you know, just that kind of conversation. But um, you know, we'll we'll keep it. We'll keep it in between keep the family. Right, right, yeah, exactly. No, that makes Absolutely. Sense. Yeah, yeah. Because we took it, and then yeah, man, I mean, we'll tell you. I, I had second thoughts on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> taking it <laughs> well that second day that sec we took the second uh the second dose on the second day my goodness man we came to do a show and we yeah it we wasn't our best show you guys we took all a, a day we, before you'd that. be disappointed we toughed it out and we sounded dumber than usual yeah. we're calling people by the wrong name we had an we had an excuse this time I know, right? we're arguing with fights that never oh, happened heck yeah uh, i just yeah. imagining yeah. stuff yeah definitely <laughs> amazing you, you were talking about some of the people that you know we, we touched on as far as daniel jacobs and you know adrian broner and you guys obviously have a strong stable as it is and have the amount of quality talent that goes in there. Um, I had a comment that I, I had heard, and I wanted your thoughts on it. They said that you have so much talent that you're dealing with as far as your preparation and obviously Cosentino and um, Papi Orlando and them getting you ready, Coach Orlando getting you ready, that you're actually more tested in your sparring than the actual fight. Is that a fair assessment, or do you feel like you're just so ready – that it's equally as challenging. Uh, what what's your, well, your thoughts on that? Well, I think if you're not getting tested in inspiring or in, in in training camp, you're not doing the right thing. I mean, um, coach and, and coach and dad, oh, they know my limits. They know what I what I bring to the table. Um, they know that I could that I can that I know how to handle myself inside that ring. And they always try to push me. They always, they always try to get me better. Um, so I think that I, I really do get um, tested more in the in in the sparring session or or in training camp that I do in a fight. Um, but again, it's because I'm working. I'm working really hard. I'm working really hard. So once I step into that ring, I make it look easy. No, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely do. Absolutely. No, I mean, if you go in and uh, you know try not to work over time when you're boxing, you just you get paid over the first time. round. You don't get paid right? over yeah, time, man. right? They yeah, man. Quickly, yeah. So, Manny, I mean, Manny, you don't get paid over time. I know, right? right. No, yeah. Hopper said that. Hopper said, Hopper said that. <laughs> yeah. So you finish them early, and then you're you got to get back to the gym the next day because you even said that. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's how it is. That's how it is. Um, you know, I I love what I do. I put I respect what I do. Um, and I believe that. With hard work, I will accomplish anything that I that I put in my mind, and and if that if that's what it takes, you know, 
fighting and then the next day going back to the gym. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I know we, we, we do a lot of recovery stuff. We do a lot of strength and conditioning stuff, just trying to get me better, just trying to make me grow as a fighter and as a person. And we're, I think we're doing the right, the right job right now, the right stuff. Well, absolutely. No. The, the results won't say that exactly that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and and you mentioned how you're a you're a fan of the sport. You know, you watch the fights. I actually saw the clip that you did when they were giving the uh, preview predictions on Ramirez Taylor, and uh, how you were supporting Ramirez. You know, because Latino and everything, and that just uh, yeah. man, that hit me right in the saw. Go, mm -hmm. Mira, that's that's what's yep. up right there, man. I mean, yep. the result didn't come out hey, the way hey, I hey. wanted it, but now if you want me to be honest, after that fight, I really I really still think that Ramirez pulled it off. Even even the two knockdowns. And, um, Ramirez didn't lose. Ramirez didn't lose no other round from from eight to twelve. Yeah, and you know then, after that it was all Ramirez. And the, the first six rounds, the, and then from round nine, I believe from round nine to round twelve, it was all Ramirez yeah, too. Was, so I, I I got the scorecards. Me and Dad were scoring the no. the fight, and we still you know we had Ramirez winning after all. Yeah, and there was oh, wow. and there's that second knockdown, you know, uh, como que se quedó yeah. middle Ramirez, like, yeah. you know, you have to protect yourself at all times. Yeah. I think he kind of thought the referee was going to break him up, him. Yeah. right? And kind of. Yeah, I think, I think that's what And then he, he let, he let yeah, up I a think. little bit, and then that uppercut came, and oh, it was like, oh, Ramirez, yeah, that, 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 that second knockdown, that yeah. second knockdown, that, that second one. knockdown hurt him. I think that's that, the one that hurt him, because his neck snapped a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. what made the difference in the yeah. fight. To be honest, in my eyes, because I did had it, I had it like that. But it was I said, really the knockdowns close cards, man. Are going to make uh, a big difference, you know. Um, and, and and it was it was good for him that he kept he kept the the head up. He didn't bang the head with the yeah. canvas when you know when no. he went down oh, because yeah. if it would have if it would have you know banged the head, I think the fight would have been over. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Ramirez showed Ramirez showed wow what a warrior he is and and, yeah, and that he's there to fight. Yeah, doesn't yeah. matter the circumstances. Yeah, yeah. I was a little down, but I mean, he went in there and he I banged was and everything. Yeah, I, I, I was we, down, were all, so. we were all. We actually. But, I mean, we we were happy for yeah. Taylor because we yeah, yeah, no, Taylor. Number of respect for Taylor. We yeah, knew what a monster we he was. Oh, yeah. Be. We knew we what a beast about, he was uh, going to be. Yeah, our our fan hats were definitely on because yeah. we actually had a. I mean, you know, since we're being so honest, Xander, is that we actually had a show planned and we can't. We didn't even want to talk about the fight. We were so yeah, down. Like, you know, uh, whatever. We like text each other like two days later. Yeah, all right. Uh, Y'all still, still, still watch boxing? Yeah, we're not doing the show. <laughs> you guys still like boxing? Y'all still watch boxing? Like, all right. No, but okay. No wonder now. these guys disappear for a while. Now, I want to I take you now. I want to take you from that fight, from a professional, you know, two warriors going at it. I want to get your thoughts on, on the, I have to ask you, you know, you're professional, you're Sander headed to superstardom. What are your thoughts on, on all these exhibition fights, like the Logan Paws and the Mayweathers? I mean, I just want to get your no. perspective on that. You know, what, what, what do you think about those? Well, they, they, in, in a good way, we're talking the good way first. Um, they right. get a new set of eyes to the sport. You know, they, they're getting a, a whole new generation, a whole new, um, Fans and what do you fan call base, this? Uh, young fan base, audience, audience to to the boxing sport, right? Um, and I respect that. I mean, the the guys are are working. They're putting the the work in. They they are taking it, I guess, seriously. Um, they they are respecting the sport. I just don't like when they are when they are calling themselves their best to you know ever do it, and they haven't fought nobody. Let's be honest now. You know, the guys <laughs> yeah, have yeah. fought. Um, MMA fighters, it's not the same when you step in there with a real boxer, you know? I mean, right. we saw what happened last time around with Mayweather. Even even though Mayweather was 50 pounds lighter, he was still putting in work against oh, yeah. Logan Paul. Oh, yeah. um, yeah. um, I think he kind of knocked him out. Him out. Yeah, let me he hold him. Let me out. grab no, you. Here, don't, don't go out here. Don't go down yet. <laughs> yeah, he was... You know. But, um... You know, in a, in a way, we, you know, we gotta respect that the guys are putting the work in. They are, they are bringing a, a new audience to the sport. In, in the other hand, in the other hand, I feel that they got to understand that, you know, there's levels to boxing, there's level to this, and they gotta they gotta go little by little. Yeah, definitely. I think one of them, I forget which one. I think it was Logan or Jake, or I don't know. They were talking trash to Canelo, and I'm like, do you like oxygen? Do you Jake. like, do you <laughs> yeah. like breathing? Bro? Yeah, that was that was Jake. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was Jake Paul, the one that was saying something about Canelo. That was Jake. And they were, yeah, yeah, they were. He was talking about um. 
uh, pay per view numbers. Something that I'll I take mean, you or you're next or yeah. something. No, he mentioned he, he he mentioned him directly like you're next or I'll take you or of course. And everybody he was like, money. wait, do you, do you like to breathe? You like well, eating solid he food? Wants the money. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take a couple million and I'll find my weather. <laughs> oh, I'm trained. Nah, <laughs> nah, it's, not, I mean, nah, it's not the same thing. Not it's the not same the thing. thing. Nah, nah. <laughs> it's not for pride. So yeah, I, I'm definitely with you on that. When you you know, um, Xander, as far as the standpoint of it does create a, a new audience. But like you said, at the end of the day, it is a fight. And, you know, they, they're staying within their lane as far as the actual exhibition. But mm-hmm. when it comes to the, yeah. you know, talking to trash, I think that's where they're rubbing people the wrong way. Like when you start calling out actual boxers, but you won't fight actual boxers, that's where the resentment comes in. And I think that's, that's where people are. Yeah, that's yeah. when the problem starts. Yeah. yeah. But I think oh, yeah. it's more for hyping up the event itself. I mean, you know, of course, you got the main yeah, yeah. fans. I, and, and I get back. that. I mean, you have to, you have to sell. You yeah. have to sell. You have to somehow get money. Um. But do it the right way. Just, right. just know that again. There's levels. To it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Although you know he got a lot of respect from, you know, from Mayweather. Um. But of course you got to think about it. he was fighting almost you know cruiserweight, almost a heavyweight. You know what I mean? And then <laughs> yeah. forty four years old and compared to what, almost, you, know, you know what I mean? And still gave him a school. He, 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 he school him. You know I mean he went on on surviving mode for the last two three rounds and you know I mean. So, you know, shout out to Mayweather. I mean, we never talked about it either. Yeah, I think we, we, we couldn't of, do the show, but... We kind of avoided it. I, I no, I mean, it's okay. I, mean, I just... Yeah. Uh, it is what it is. I, I think it's it kind of ruined right. for my in my perspective. I think kind of kind of ruined what Mayweather had before. What and was going just, on that night? Oh, I was watching the soccer yeah. game USA versus oh, Mexico. Oh USA, that was yeah. I game. caught up the fight. I watched it the next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, you know you got to put in this uh, correct proper priority. <laughs> so definitely, yeah. Xander, uh, you are a student of the the sport, the sweet science. So we have to ask, you know, like my brother Hopper said, what is your thoughts on you know because you are the professional thoughts on. Pacquiao Spence. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? When it was announced, were you like, okay, here we go? Yeah. Or do you like, um, eh? Because I'm actually kind of surprised because we actually are talking about some other young up-and-coming <clears throat> fighters such as yourself, and I'm actually surprised at the response that they're having towards the fight. Like, they're not dismissive to Pacquiao at all. Mm-hmm. What's your What's your thoughts on Pacquiao um, and the fight as a, as a whole? I got Pacquiao winning. Um, I, think, oh, I, think Pacquiao, nice. I think Pacquiao will win. Really? Um... Man, that Pacquiao is a, <laughs> it's a real athlete. He's been doing it for almost three decades. I know, right? Um, he's been showing every time that that he belongs in there with the best. I'm at 40, 43, 42, yeah. 42 years old. <clears throat> he shows that, you know, yeah. he's, he's there and then that he he's he's a legend. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think he's going to show it again. Yeah, but he's even, fighting. Even, he's fighting Spence, and yeah. Mayweather's fighting Logan. That's the but, difference know, between right? the two. Huh? Yeah, but even with that, with that inactivity that Pacquiao has had, and maybe you can give us a little bit more perspective on as a boxer, right? What What do you do to stay in shape? I mean, you, you, you there's so much you can spar. And, um, Plus, he's got a lot of stuff behind. At that age, you know, what I mean, and especially at that age, and yeah, I'm, I'm close by, so I'm like, no. Yeah, at that age, I think at that age, rest is his bad. Is his best friend. I think he needs it. Um, he needs to some somewhat relax his body, let his body know that, you know, he's 42 years old, that he's got to take his time. Um, but once he starts camps, I know he's going a thousand percent. I know mm-hmm. he's going to work as hard as, as when he was 20 years old. Um, he's taking this fight serious. He's fighting one of the best yeah. um, fighters there is right now. Um, but let's, let's be honest, fans didn't look as good um, his Danny. last fight against Danny Garcia. Yeah. And he didn't look like the Spence that we 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 used to we used to know. I don't know why. I don't know if something happened after the accident. If it wasn't, if he didn't feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, but now he got a real he got a he got a, a real warrior, a real legend in front of him that is coming to fight. He's coming to throw punches. Yeah, man, yeah. that's awesome. Focus man. and dedicated. It, it says a lot that you know these young hungry lions that they respect the sport and they also understand that hey, there's there's still some fire in those old champions. So yeah. that's 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 great, and uh, I like that you. You uh, threw that out there. Now, speaking of, uh, you know, champions and uh, up and coming fights, there was a guy you were on social media yelling out uh, the man from the UK, Mr. Tyson Fury. I I thought you guys did a promotional campaign there on uh, social media. What's your thoughts on uh, Tyson Fury versus Wilder 3? Any any thoughts on that? Are you excited for it? Uh, Really haven't really thought about it. I'm really excited. (laughs) Do you prefer them too or do you prefer Anthony Joshua and Fury? Um, I prefer Anthony Joshua and Fury. Okay. I'm in Fury. But you're good now but with I Wilder. don't mind. I don't. 
Yeah, but I don't mind Wilder. Um, Fury is going to knock him out in, inside five rounds. Ooh, um, nice. He's going to dump him like he did last time. Okay. Um, hopefully, I can be there live to watch it. Ooh, or maybe in the undercard. On the undercard. Undercard. We're going to talk to Top Rank to you know be there and watch it live. Uh, um, that would be great. But I think I think Fury is going to Fury is going to take it. Walk right over him. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. like you said, an eighteen wheeler. Like he said, right, eighteen wheeler. Just yeah, and the, him. the thing about it Man. is, granted, yeah, I know that you know not to get off on that too much, but that. They've had the change as far as Malik Scott, and he's had some good talking about Wilder, some yeah. good footage of him. And but you know, Mitch don't hit back. You know, it's not the same. <laughs> exactly, it's not the same. same it's not know, the same in the image. when you have somebody punching back at you. Um, when yeah. you have somebody that moves like Tyson Fury does at, at, at the weight that he does it. Yeah. Um, he's two eighty, two two eighty something, right? right. Two seventy something. Yeah. And that he moves two like a light combination I mean, too. Yeah. It's just got that jab one two just, combination that yeah. is just massive destructive. Yeah. And Wilder gets open it's pretty, hard to, pretty bad. And it's hard and, and it's also hard to be somebody that mentally yeah. is really strong. Yeah. And they already started trash talking. Did you did you hear all the trash talking yeah. under under Yeah, yeah. it's uh yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a and silent moment. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Fury and I think Fury is going to get in his head. He already got in his coach head last oh, night yeah, in the yeah, press conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he did. Talk about he said he his ear busted drum. his eardrum. Yeah. And, he, and when yeah. Tyson Fury said, I busted uh, trainer and fighters in both eardrums. Both ear yeah. that. And, then, and then when he said, that, uh, that. how could you trade somebody to be great if you're never great? That, that hurt my oh, feelings. That, that sure did. I, I was <laughs> like, wow. I mean, I, that's like, a, I left the room. And that's, and that's that, that was a low blow for me. I can't watch this anymore. It's not going to be enough to recover from that low blow. <laughs> All right, so oh, nah, I, amazing. I, I have awesome. to ask Xander because you know I'm going to bring it back to food because that's how I roll, brother. But, um, <laughs> Always. I know food. that um, I saw on a, well, not say a recent interview, but on one of your interviews that you know, shout out to Perfecting Athletes. I know they do your nutrition. That uh, one of the things you like is their pancakes. So do you have like a a post game preference meal? Is it yes. the pancakes? Is it pizza? Um, like that's 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 the first thing. No, no, I would add. <laughs> Pasta. Come on, come on, Hopper. I wouldn't say pizza. I wouldn't pasta. say pizza. Not after pasta? Wings. <laughs> pasta, right? Um, no, um, the first thing we eat after wings is, is pancakes. Um, I like my chocolate pancakes. chips with, nice. with some some you know fruits and and just a couple a couple pancakes. And then after I eat some pasta. And maybe some wings. Oh man! Yeah, we'll I saw the wings. Like, I speak my after, language, brother. After the uh, talk, uh, talk after slow, the Orlando brother. fight, um, you guys were having some wings, berlanga, and yeah. just uh, chilling yeah. and bagging. Well, you know, well, I was like, Man. you know, after the fight, after the win, after the win. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. Perfecting athletes on. always always hook us up. She's like, hey, what do you guys want to eat? And so after the win, she always give us something that that we want. Yeah. Um, but you know, before before that, you know, and during fight week, it's all it's all business. They do they do the their, their job. Yeah. They always get us to to the weight that we we need to be, and we make it look easy. They make it look easy. I make I make I make it look easy. I feel good about it. And man, they're just the best. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and speaking of you, feeling good and, and and looking good, um, how many more chances do you think you'll be uh, possibly you know, in the ring and bless us with your talents at one forty seven? And I want. I want to do I want to do three more this year. This year. Um if not at nice. least two. I want to do at least three more, if not two. But um, you know, I want to end up the year fighting eight rounders and win pressure of the year. Hmm. Wow. So nice. like two more six rounders and then a end of year on an eight <clears throat> rounder? If I fight three times, yes, that's the plan. Two more six rounders and then and then last last one eight. If I fight two times, then one six round, then one eight. Oh right. man, that, that's, okay. that's, that's awesome. So you're the long distance. As far as uh, what about at 147? Are you making the weight comfortably? You don't have any plans uh, the, moving. The up pancakes anything? aren't messing the you up, are they, Xander? You up. <laughs> no, the, you know the 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 weight right now 147. We we're making it look easy. I think we next next couple fights we're gonna we're gonna start making one 149, 150. Try to you know go up a little because again. I'm not gonna campaign at 147 for a world title. Right. Um, I'm yeah, only definitely. I'm only nine by ten. Um, I'm still growing, 18 years old. Um, so we we started making that move. I'm getting stronger physically. Right. So we started making that move little by little to 154. Yeah, I think it was expected. I mean, of course, you're yeah, into your man body yeah. right now, and yeah, still straining. And the, the more you, Wait, the is, more you, is man strength in there, man? Dang. Isn't yeah, it? when you start getting Woo! 23, 24, oh, man, you know, no one's going to be butting your head at that oh, time, man. <laughs> <laughs> at all. Even in their dreams, they're going to apologize. Wow. 
No, so no. so your, your life has changed completely, and so is your, I don't call it fame, right? I, I call you audience and the people that are following you and the your fans and the supporters and all that. How, how is it to live on the San Desayas round nowadays? You know, do you get, uh, you know, when you're in the Man. streets, when you when you people come to you, is it, do they say, Sander, is it, is it different than from the last time? Of course, people we buying you dinner, Sander? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, <Thank> you. <laughs> well, first of all, first of all, I want to thank all 53K of my following. That Woo! just hit That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Let's Thanks go. All my Thank you all my fans. It's man, the love been been amazing. Awesome. Um, and you're very and active with does, them too. Yes, yes, and, and it does feel weird. It does feel weird when they come up to you and they're like, "Oh, let's take a picture." It's like, man, like people want want me to take pictures. Um. Oh yeah, and the, I, we went. I'm sorry, that is right here giving me a story. <laughs> happy it's birthday! Candy, happy birthday to your pops! Oh, oh happy birthday! They're saying happy birthday. They say, hey, by the said, way, thanks. before we go, before we go, let's sing them the happy birthday. Viene, papi, una, dos, y tres. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hey, hey vivo! Oh. Yeah, well, at the Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon, where I went to the Grand Canyon with the family, you know, after after the fight, and somebody stopped me, and they're like, oh, can I take a picture with you? And okay. I'm like, man, that's, that's amazing, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, it's something that I'm, that I'm, I'm embracing, I'm loving it, and... It's deserving. I mean, I love to oh, smile, man. I love to, I love to show people, uh, to show my fans love, to show my fans that, that I care about them, and what other way than to be nice to them, you know? A picture, a picture is free, let's take it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we hear it a lot, and we felt we feel it in every fight that you're in. That the atmosphere, the energy, that your charisma, everything. I mean, we see you on Showtime mode, but we've also seen you behind the scenes and after you know post the fights, and we can see that. What I'm there is just to do my job, but out here I'm just a simple, um, you know, honest, you know, heartbroken yeah. individual that wants to really make a difference in the life, and that's that's why I think you're gaining a lot of you know all these fans and all the people that really. You know, they want to they want to continue to learn more who you are and what you do and continue to follow. So we're pretty excited that your 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 social medias are growing. I see that you are yes. very active with them as well. You know, you're always yes. throwing life with by the way. I got a good friend of mine, his name his nickname is Flaco, Flaco de Austin, Texas, Puerto Riqueño Boricua, y él lleva siguiéndote desde antes que yo, nosotros te estábamos siguiendo. He actually reminds <laughs> me, hey, Sanders about the fights like no, the cards at eight. Wait a minute, undercard, ESPN plus, no. So he he's <laughs> always connecting with me and let me know but yeah i wanted you to shout out the flacco from austin texas just giving him a shout out <laughs> he'll be super shout excited out, to hear to this man shout out to flacco thank you for the support thank you for the love <laughs> man uh, and the, uh, the sky's the limit and right. uh, we're coming yeah. to take it off for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. before we go you know give everybody again your your social media platforms yeah let's keep it going man let's keep it growing uh we want to yeah. keep everybody knowing yeah, about you guys can follow me you guys can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as Xander Zayas. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great journey. 9-0. Um, Let's keep it going. Double digits. Is, yep. Yeah, double digits. The following, the following has been amazing. And again, I just thank every single one of, of my fans for, for all the love and all the support they've been showing me. Absolutely. Well deserved, awesome. sir. Thank you and, so uh, much for yeah. joining us, man. This no, and was, I appreciate you. Yeah. And, um, you know, you said something cool. very important that I, I, I was like, wow, um, very emotional. Last time I, you know, I saw you was uh, down there in, uh, in Orlando and, you know, uh, you know, we were going to take a picture and you say, man, I own this one. Do you? I'm like, oh, my God, that really touched my heart because, you know, you got a lot of fans. We know each other already and we, we kind of let you do your thing and enjoy yourself. Right. We don't want to. You know, um, you know, keep you right. You know, uh, well, Hopper does <laughs> 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 harassing you, right? You know, when it's the right time, you know, we we'll try guy. to communicate. I just want to thank Orlando. <laughs> Happy birthday once again. Yeah, um, thank you for you know content. You know, receiving you. my messages and um, staying connected with us. That means a lot to us. We're getting there. We're growing. We're learning, and we're enjoying being around. Um, you know the sport that we love a lot and we just you know we love the sport's gonna get better and I feel like it's because you are going to be part of that and you're just going to make it I keep saying that man and it's just the reality and I feel it when I'm in the some new fights the new yeah, wave definitely. the fans are getting up going around the ring it's like wow there's that kid there's that kid there's that signing well no longer they'll probably say the youngest top ranked signing right but, I'm sure that's got you all over already you know done before that <laughs> but but look what you're doing in nine fights and we just wish you the best continue to yeah. work hard we'll continue to be proud of you man, your mom also you. as well hey, she also follows me and don't, don't, don't forget comedy. about us 
Mommy Jaitsa, um, you know, thank you for man, the support and your you, you guys, man, I was I was already I was already about to tell my dad. I'm like, man, I'm missing the long live boxing oh they, They're goodness. not inviting me. What's I, up with I, that? I, I, <laughs> well, I no tell fault. Manny all the time, <laughs> yeah. pero dice que... Well, I mean, I just want, you know what no, I mean? You know, we try not to bother you, man. <laughs> exactly. We're, we know you're busy. There right? you we go. Oh, no, man, best. come on. You guys are family. You guys, you guys yeah. have always shown love. So whenever you guys need me, want me, you guys got the number, you text, and we'll, we'll, we'll hear. We'll be here. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. no, I appreciate that. that. That definitely means a lot. Yeah, That's yeah. maybe we can have you and eventually was, in a future Coach Centeno next to you. We can next time, have yeah. an interview with you I was, too, guys. I was going awesome. to text you. I was, I was going to text Manny. Hey, Manny, where's my invitation, man? I need you to be in the show already. <laughs> maybe you got to be here in Texas. When are you fighting in Texas? I hey, mean, when you know? comes to Texas, man. man. Oh, wow. We'll have a studio oh, I light up. Tailgate. I would love to find Texas. Oh, yeah. We'll, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll have a tailgate in your honor man your whole family's <laughs> honor whatever you want we'll have mufango and pasta you know, and, pancakes. and pancakes in the morning we'll and pancakes. <laughs> oh my goodness ladies no, and gentlemen man, this, thank you guys thank this you is so much sander sayas ladies and gentlemen remember this episode podcast 89, 89. right 89. 89 we're 11 more to the 100 ladies and gentlemen but this one is brought in you by i scoop poop I said it right scoop. this time. Please give him a call if you need someone in the DFW that area. stuff. Right in the DFW area. Also, H-E-B. That is Steven Treviños. We are sporting <laughs> today, ladies and gentlemen. Our Sander Sayas in the house. That's Thank right. you so much, Papi. We love That's you. Right. We wish you the best. Hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima, Sander. Thank you. Hasta la próxima. Bye. Gracias.